Welcome back to Positively Port St. Lucie. I'm Sarah Prohaska, Public Information Officer with the City of Port St. Lucie. Once again, here with Christina Seuperger of the Communications hello, Department. Hello. And our guests now, we have Anna Marie Colonese and Ed from the East Lake Village um, HOA. Yeah. HOA. Yes. Mr. Ed Horan. Yes. Are, are we pronouncing? Horan. Horan. Okay. Horan. To, and they're here to tell us about ways we are keeping our city safe, clean, and green with Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful and many activities you have going on right now. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Well, welcome and thank you for, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having thank us. You for mm -hmm. Thank you for having us, yes. So talk to us a little bit about how East Lake Village HOA is helping out um, with Adopt a Street program. Okay, well, uh, basically the program as we interpret it and do it is uh, we have a group of people currently it's at 19 individuals wow. so 19 from group. the community that's yes um, and typically we meet on every Thursday morning at nine o'clock and we pick up off of every street on half of our community and then the following week we do the other half because we have gotten pretty good at it we've been doing it for a while doesn't get anywhere near as dirty as it used to. When we first started, you could not break it down that way. You'd have to have everybody work two days a week or three mm -hmm. days a week to get it. But now we, we've reached a point where our members, we have some of them do stuff in their off time. We have one gentleman who's so good at many, he sends me emails about what he did on a given afternoon or morning so I can track it. He'll go, he'll go down near the water in the rivers and the lakes and pick up lots of stuff that is down there those are the worst places uh and uh i got a i got a picture from a young lady going on a cruise the other day uh she has a bag of garbage she's holding and all of a sudden i got this before i went and, you know well, that's amazing <laughs> that the yeah. community so comes together they, like that. they do and we make it a social thing too because now everybody knows everybody and typically at the end of picking up which only takes about an hour and a half on that Thursday. Mm -hmm. Then we go to someone's house for cake and coffee. There you go. So and you can connect so to the it's, community. So it's an event as much as it is anything sure. else. Sure. Was it difficult for you to start get the program going? or? Um, well, I didn't start it. Wayne Newton did. He's currently the board president, but he's okay. so busy now. We are kind of doing it with my wife, mm -hmm. Trish. And uh, no, it hasn't really been very hard because people talk to neighbors, talk to other people. People see you out there, will stop. They'll, they'll stop out of car or bike riding and say, hey, how do I get to join this? And so on and so forth. And that's how we, uh, we do collect people. Okay. <laughs> well, that's trash. a great thing. You know, <laughs> yeah, we we get it down to where my wife was out the other day and another young lady, and, and people do it all the time. They walk the dog and they take the garbage uh, mm -hmm. bucket with them and a grabber, and they pick up little stuff that they see there. Yeah. So it's, a, it's, not, it's not a single thing, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely, constant, yeah. Right, and it's a group effort. And, you know, mm -hmm. we encourage other HOAs to join mm -hmm. and, you know, adopt a street. We have, I believe, 800 miles of streets left mm -hmm. to, adopt to adopt so it. far. Yes. So mm -hmm. there's plenty out there. And, again, you know, it could be HOAs, it could be residents, it could be businesses. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, you know, the appearance of being safe is being a very clean city. And I think our new goal too is to be the cleanest in the mm -hmm. world. And we need everyone's help with that, not just, you know, certain individuals. We can't do it alone for sure. Right. We need, you know, all of our residents and businesses to help us get there. Um, we just were talking previously as well too, is that businesses that help us recycle brings back money into programming that helps our communities as well too. So here, Adopt a Street is another program that businesses, HOAs, residents can all get involved in. And the goal, again, is to make sure that we are clean, green. And safe, and safe, safe, clean, and green. Yeah, and, and, it's, and mm -hmm. it's all about that perception and on it's there. it's constant work, though. Um, like, as Ed was saying, it's it's constant. You you know, it's not a job that you can just say, oh, it's done, um, let's move on. Right, because you've got to yeah. do it again. It's mm -hmm. something that requires yep. constant maintenance. And it, it's, a, it's dedication, but, you know, people do that because they take pride and they value mm -hmm. their community so they do it 
you know, for that very reason. Um, so tell us how how someone can adopt a street. What's the process? Well, and, and one of the things that Ed does is he submits the report every time he does a cleanup, which is great. I mean, we see how much they collect. We send that information to keep America beautiful. Um, that helps just promote the yeah. program even sure. more. Um, their group won the Golden Grabber Award uh, mm -hmm. that we, we give to a group and an individual each year. So um, we well, congratulate yeah. on that as, for all uh, the effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one of the ways um, to contact us mm -hmm. is just to call us at 873-6312, call Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We can sign you up. It's as simple as filling out a little bit of paperwork. Mm -hmm. We give you mm -hmm. all the supplies you need. Everything is free. All we ask is that you go out and do a cleanup, send in the reports once a month, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And you're contributing to helping our city stay safe and green, mm -hmm. as you said. That's that's awesome. And you it's get awesome. a sign too, right? Yes, and we yeah. have adopt a street signs. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use your family name or your business name, or you have some activity that you're involved in, if it's a maybe a scout group or something, that name can be on the sign. Great. Well, that's amazing. They get all of the supplies they need to actually do yes. the cleanup. And it's really easy. You can either call. You can also go on our website as well to www.cityofpsl.com yes. and find out some more information or just call in and we'll give you everything that you need to help us get to that goal of being the cleanest city ever yes. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> And that, that along with the 100 adopt -a street groups we already have. Yeah. Um, wow. So yeah. we have 100 already. Yes. That's great. Mm -hmm. So we want to yes. grow that number. We yes. want to make everybody aware that the opportunity is out there. So whether you're a group of two or three or a group of 50 people, we, we surely can use your help with yes. that. Yes. And it's, you know, it's a nice way to, to create, you know, engagement within the community as well, too. A lot of people come out, meet their neighbors, and they know, you know, who's there. Yeah. And again, it's, 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 Part of that safety image as well, too, is that you're looking out, you're making your, your community beautiful, and that you're talking to your neighbors, you're engaged, you're, you're, you're caring about your surroundings. So yes, I get calls about um, other things, like if there's something at somebody's house, something's wrong, mm -hmm. they'll contact me just to let me know, and I'll report that to the right agency, or, you mm -hmm. know, if, so it's more than just keeping our the litter off the streets. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of being the eyes and ears, and another safety factor for in that way so that sort of leads us into you've got a big cleanup day event coming yes so please tell us about that okay it's saturday april 22nd and what we ask is all the residents or groups or businesses uh, come out we'll give you breakfast we ask we have buses that will take you to different locations um, it's great for the children for community hours, so we recommend it for families and everybody right, so can come out. Right, so anyone out. that's listening out there are high school students. Yes. You need community service hours for um, bright futures mm -hmm. and to graduate yeah, in some instances. Easy. Here you go, special note, community mm -hmm. service hours, and you're actually doing something awesome to give back to the city as well, too. So please call in and get more information and we'll help you out with that yes we'll give you the supplies you need that day we'll have lunch we have t-shirts um, but we want people to come out enjoy themselves and see how easy it is to contribute to keeping our city beautiful and i know we wanted to thank waste pro and walmart yes they are a big, big sponsors reason for the yes. day they give it they're helping us supply all that their all major supplies. sponsors yeah. they sponsor breakfast and lunch mm -hmm. uh, they bring bring the equipment out and the raffle prizes will have raffle prizes walmart donates the raffle Great. a lot of the raffle prizes mm -hmm. so this is going to be on saturday april 22nd starting at um 7 30 registration registration so where where is everyone coming to for for that day we're going to get be at city hall 121 southwest port st lucie boulevard and you'll see the signs the staging area where we're going to be yeah you'll just come in you'll register well you can go out on a bus or you can go out on your own a lot of our adopt the street groups also come out so they'll go back and they'll do their own cleanups and then they'll come back for the festivities after that perfect which is yeah. again a great way to get involved come out how, how many mm -hmm. do for last year didn't we have a nice turnout last year yes we had uh you know a hundred or you know more than that but uh, 
Okay. We're, 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 looking, we're looking for a couple hundred this year. So. Okay. That's a big deal, you know, when you it do is. have that and we want to increase those numbers. And the only way to do that is by, you know, relying on our residents, our re listeners and our viewers is help us spread the word, you know, right. keep putting it out there that partner with the city, whether it's through Adopt a Street, you know, or Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful. There are things that you can do to get involved in. And the more people that we have help, the more we can do. And again, the safer we look, the better mm -hmm. our stats are, you know, it's it's the reputation. It's right. what we're all about. And I know it's a very, very big initiative for our council as well, too. They definitely yes. want yeah. this to be the safest and the cleanest city. So we are pushing that and we want, you know, to make every single person that can hear this or see this or, you know, all of our residents take action and take note and get involved. Because imagine if each one of us just donated an hour, mm -hmm. what yeah. a big difference we would be able it's to like make. What a difference it made in East Lake Village, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, um, mm -hmm. if anybody might be interested to see how it works and they want to come over and go with us one day, we'd be right. more than happy to let them do it. They don't have to do any work. They can just follow <laughs> us and see what's involved. Or, I'm sure we you can, can give them a grabber. We can give them a grabber <laughs> yeah. and a bucket, and I can show them how to do paperwork. And, yeah. uh, and they can drive by and just see how clean East Lake Village is. It's uh -huh. a good example of mm -hmm. what we're looking for and what we have in, in mm -hmm. our community. Right. Great. Yeah, so we're there's proud of our sure so. you should be. Yeah. So there's mm -hmm. another there's another little tidbit that we wanted to share and talk about. Something about a President's Circle Award. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Keep America Beautiful it gives awards if you meet all the qualifications due to cost benefit analysis. Um, there are certain requirements and we've met all the requirements so we were we received that award this year we're very proud of that great right. awesome. congratulations yeah, i think that's a, a very deal. big deal and again it's because of our residents that do partake and really. it's what the city is doing and we encourage you know all of our listeners and everyone else to just you know visit the website www.cityofpsl.com or what's the number again to call 772-873-6312 and we will be happy to give you more information. We'd like to thank Ed Horan, our guest <laughs> from East Lake Village for joining yeah. us and, and letting us know what a great job they are doing with our adopt a street program. We thank you so much. Please extend our thanks to everyone oh, that I participates. And we look forward to coming back on the next time, next episode of Positively Port St. Lucie. Thank you. Thank you.